97.8 Dance FM, it's The Vibe with Rimas Kandarani. I have with me right here in the studio vloggers, YouTubers, and prankists, if I may add, Slim and Adam Saleh. How are you guys? What's up? Uh, we What's is up? good. I'm it's great. good. Yeah. We're in Dubai. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome yep. to Dubai. Welcome to the studio. It's so good to have you guys here. Thank Aww, you so thanks. much. Is this Stop your it. first time around in Dubai? Nah. Actually, I've been here like... A lot of times, actually. A lot of times. Yeah. I, lo I love it here so much. I love Dubai so much, man. Me and Adam love it here. <laughs> it's our favorite time to come during the winter, too. Yeah. Yes. Because the weather you, is beautiful, yeah. Or what you could refer to as winter. Oh, uh, winter. Yeah, it's like... It's like oh, it's, yeah. Yeah, I can, well... <laughs> I can see you're living it. You're wearing the sweater, so that's good. Yeah, it's good. And I got <laughs> the Dubai flag, you know. Absolutely. You no, know, I'm ready. I'm like a tourist. <laughs> <laughs> Looking really good. Yeah. All right, so how did this start between you guys? Um... Mm -hmm. So, like, how did the partnership start and you becoming vloggers and YouTubers? Where did it all come we, from? Well, Adam started off, like, before me, pretty much, you know? And I actually got... He was actually one of my inspirations, like, starting. That's the funny thing, too. Like, he's one of my the person that I, people I used to look Aww. up to. There's, and there's a mini other... violin right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Like, I never thought that me and him would be best friends and, like, traveling and touring the whole world together. It's, kind of, it's, so, it's so weird. Like, think about it. Like, imagine looking up to somebody... And then like being their best friend and just well, traveling I'm, I'm, everything. I'm with shorter them. than him, so he looks down on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, we pretty much met. Um, uh, I started YouTube a year before him. Okay. And then um, uh, we ha had this event in New York, and he was he was a part of the event. Like he was one of the judges. It was called like Arabs Got Talent. This event. There we yeah, go. It was, it was a talent was, show. Yeah. Yeah. It was five years ago. Yeah. And then he was one of the judges, and then I seen him. He was just really like funny and like his energy was amazing, and then I found out that he he had YouTube too. And then I was up to having like you know friends from YouTube. I, I liked it. He was from the. He's Arab like me. He lives in New York, and we had a lot of similarities. So um, uh, we ended up, we ended up just becoming. Yeah, we, 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 we started hanging out every single day. Literally, wow. Like, we've been hanging out every single day, yeah. uh, and I'm not even joking. Since 2013, and yeah, it's been yeah, every single day. We used to stay day. up to like eight in the morning, yeah. just watch the sunrise together. It's kind of it sounds kind of like a romantic yeah, love story, of, but it's not. <laughs> there's a bit of romance <laughs> happening here, but it's yeah. okay. <laughs> All right, that's good. So are there things about you that kind of inspire you? So something about him that inspires you and that makes you come up with ideas? How does it go about? Um, a, a lot of, like, family-related stuff with me and him that gives us a lot of ideas and inspire us. Just and, and a lot of, yeah. like, real-life situations, too. Like, me and Adam run through the craziest things. I don't know, like, it just, and it just pops up. We always think, like, a vlogger, like, ideas and stuff like that. So mm. whatever, whatever happens to us in real-life situations, we'll just come up with an idea and just do it. <laughs> like the idea of you traveling in a suitcase. <laughs> yeah, that, that was in Australia. Yeah. That was fantastic. <laughs> How did that happen? Um, that was um, uh, that, that was that was a pr I was doing a prank. I'll admit that Obviously. was a prank, and um, uh, and I pretty much got caught. I forgot what the airline was called, Tiger or something. But okay. um, uh, they ruined. I was we were doing a tour in yeah. Australia, and um, uh, yeah, I was in the suitcase. I should have came in the suitcase here. Yeah. It was fantastic. I came out dancing. Dance FM. <laughs> have you been pranked? You prank everyone. Please tell me someone pranks you. Now I'm unprankable. Never yeah. got pranked. Oh, come on. <laughs> Slim, got you got to do something no, about I this. Pr I pr I he pranked me like actually. actually. <laughs> he pranked me too, man. He made my hair pink. I'll never forget that, bro. Pink. He dyed my hair pink. Yeah. Oof. I told him it was going to be bad. And my hair is damaged. Like, yeah. it's still never the same ever since that day. See yeah. what we have to go through, us girls? We still <laughs> look pretty all the time with the pink and the blonde and all that. Who do you guys follow? Um, I follow I follow my man Money Kicks here. He's right there. There we yeah, go. Yeah, Hi, Money should, Kicks. With Infinity, boy. Yeah. With Infinity. Yeah. I follow Put him. I follow him. Uh, um, Me? Like, personally, what, are you talking about like vloggers-wise or what? Yeah, influencers, vloggers, whatever comes to mind. Even it can be just musicians. Or musicians. Mm -hmm. Hollywood actors, whoever you, you whoever inspires, um, who do you follow? Oh, to be honest, me, I follow a lot of NBA, like basketball. Okay. <laughs> I follow a lot of basketball players. I like, I love basketball. Basketball is like a big part of my life. Do you Adam play basketball? Too, right? Yeah, like my whole like my whole childhood growing up and everything. Basketball, basketball. Every single day, like nice. nonstop. It was my life. Like ball is life for real. <laughs> Until yeah, Adam he, came around. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> ball is his life too, though. He loves ball too. I, I play a couple basketball. I'm too short for it, so but yeah. yeah but I, you I watch follow, NBA games um, all the time. Yeah, I, I follow um I follow Rashid with music wise. I follow um uh, Drake, Arab music. Um have you heard of Bilqis? Yes. Yeah, my family loves her, so I I just like started getting into her. I just released an album, and I'm planning. It's, it's going well so far, and I plan on doing a, a album tour it's soon. Really, you 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 won the you won the Billboard in Dubai already. You yes. Seen, you seen the Billboard? Yes. Yeah. He's in the Billboard in Dubai. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's cool. Thank you so much. I it's gonna be it. really really cool. Where are you going for um, your tour? So last year, me Slim and uh, Nas, I imagine Nas, we went to around I believe like 50 cities mm -hmm. all around the world. Uh, we went. 
every place pretty much you can think of. Yeah. yeah. And but this year is we're gonna cut it down a little bit to like thirty cities. But Dubai is definitely gonna be one of them. We look forward to that. We're gonna 100%. be the first people to know about it. Of course, hundred percent. Right? Actually, sorry, I am gonna be the first. People. I think you guys are. I've never announced that I'm doing like an album tour. So there yeah. we go. There we go. Talking about music, how important is music to you in your daily lives? Oh man, I love music, man. I, like every day I wake up, I blast music really, really loud. I feel like my neighbors hate me, but it's cool. <laughs> Yeah, music is, is something where, like, uh, especially now that I had, I had an album, each song is like, it means it means a lot to me. Each song has a, a meaning and impact in my life, so it's, it's it's a good way to express your feelings. So you write from your own experiences, in a sense. Yeah, a, a, a pretty much every single song is from my own experience. One of them is from like a girl. The other one is from you know Slim. The other one is from how I grew up. It's just a, a lot of songs in there have a big you know impact in my life. All right. You know, since you already shared with us something that you said was special and not a lot of people knew about it, I will exempt you from this one. But Slim, you need to think about something. So this is, um, it's us telling our listeners something about you that not a lot of people know. Ooh, wait. It's a tough one. I feel, this is kind of hard because, you know, I'm a daily vlogger and I, I literally tell everybody everything. Like, you know, I tell my viewers everything. So. Exactly. So Adam, you, you know me so well. I feel like- Help him you, out, Adam. Adam, you gotta say something. You know me more than anybody does, bro. Right. Come on, you, so, should t you should say something. So something that, that Slim, that, that no one would know about Slim? Not a lot of people. Maybe a family, close to a family and friends, fine, yeah. but not everyone. Um, He's he, he's scared of like um like ghosts. Like oh, if, yeah. if you tell him like, like, yo, there's a ghost in here. Like if you pretend like there's something in here, he will, will literally freak out and yeah. like, he will not sleep at all. He's scared of ghosts. Really? Yeah. So it's uh, so easy pranking you. You're Nas, really Nas knows about this, Yo. man. Nas knows. Once when I was in the UK, I thought I saw a gin and, and when I was in London and I freaked out so bad. It was like seven in the morning. I was cold. I was blowing up Nas's phone. He was sleeping in his house. I was blowing up his phone. And I'm like, Nas, let's hang out, bro. And he's like, what do you want? It's seven in the morning. We can't do nothing in the UK. And he's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, oh, I, th I thought I saw a gin. He's like, you waking me up seven in the morning just because you saw a gin. <laughs> he thought you saw a gin. He gets scared easily. He's like he's like a little kid. He's yeah. like a, yeah. He's like a ten year old trapped in like a twenty one year old. I, I watched a lot of scary movies growing up. I feel like that impacted me impacted me big time. <laughs> so do you still watch scary movies at now? Yeah, yeah, but it, it it it's not as scary as it was before, but yeah, so it is I, scary. He gets scared. He takes me to the movie theater every week and no, watch, like I, like I watch the movie, but it just affects me after, like when I'm by myself. Yeah. I feel like my brain forces me to see things that I don't want to see. You get me? Yeah, and I would imagine that you're quite creative and you <laughs> construct a lot of things around you. He does. He does, yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's been fantastic talking to you. Thank you very much. What would you like to tell your fans? I love you guys. Thank you guys for all the, uh, your love and support. And I'm, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, dance. Dance FM. You. <laughs> Somebody want to say? Um, I just want to say, yo, stay in school. Keep up with our daily vlogs. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe. And yeah, that's all I guess. <laughs> Hello, oh, yeah, man. Thank you for all the support. That's it, man. Seriously. That's I, it. I am very happy to have you here with us. Thank you so much for your time. It was fantastic chatting to you. Thank you, Rima. Thanks. This Thanks. is 97.8 Dance FM. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> so, the bloopers like, it's so in the making. It just comes. It just comes. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> Don't laugh.